those lights down are very good. It's a good start from both Mato and Kong. Getting the bear exit and both of them spun simultaneously. Hang it to the camel straight, still going side by side as well. Side by side into the curb of Grande. Are they going to keep it side by side with Iceman? Yuri going for the dive bomb. Can he make it work? He's gone off a bit. And look at that. Oh, right here, right now. Otherwise, the other car will not work. It's going to be very, very close. Iceman just gets ahead of Kyle there. Mata comes across the line. And he's your VSL Season 6 champion. Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to VSL Season 7. We had a fantastic race last week at the Sakia International Circuit in Bahrain. And now we head to Europe at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia in Spain for round two of the VSL Championship. Situated in Barcelona, near eastern Spain. It hosts the Spanish Grand Prix every year since 1992. It's also known for being the testing circuit for many years now due to its variety of slow and fast corners and long straights. So I'm almost certain that the drivers have had a lot of practice from this track. My name is Jess Ball, your commentator for this evening. Unfortunately, Red Matt can't make it tonight, so he just got me solo commentating tonight, but that's all right. We've got a lot to talk about anyway, and we've got a full grid. What more could you ask for in VSL? So the track, we're going to go through a little bit in a second, but before that... There's been many battles in the past in around Spain. Senna versus Mansell, 91, which goes down in history, definitely. And Max Verstappen took his maiden win here in 2016 due to Rosberg and Hamilton colliding. Remember that famous incident? Um, I know I do, which sort of um, is turned into a meme, which... I kind of like, but there we go. Who doesn't like a, a bit of memes? Anyway, let's look at the track. It is 4.655 kilometres long, 16 corners, 7 to the left, 9 to the right, 2 DRS straights, 1 on the back straight between turn 9 and 10, and 1 at the start finish straight on turn 16. The curves at turn 9 could sort of bite you if you're not careful, so I hope the drivers don't get caught out tonight. Turn 1 will be the main action zone tonight, but there's plenty more... Action zones for the drivers. Turn seven, traction in there is very crucial. Um, getting a good exit is crucial as well. And then turn nine, the high speed right hander is definitely all about commitment there. If you can, I know you can on the last game, but I'm not sure if you can on this game. You can get away with not lifting a bit as long as you move to the right. But I think since obviously the handling models change ever so slightly, you may not get away with it. So, but we'll see how the drivers cope with that today. Look at the driver's standings. We saw Sam, a.k.a. Flexi, took the win last time out in the McLaren. Nice race back. He is predicting that he's not going to be doing well in Spain. But I predicted that he's going to be one of the favourites. Mata in second position on 20 points. Unfortunately, uh, Mato is not feeling very well, so Jay Luke will be replacing him in the Williams tonight. And I know Matt is watching the stream, or he's probably watching the stream back. So uh, whenever you're watching it anyway, Matt, get well soon. And uh, um, hopefully uh, the ailments soon pass for you. Um, Akon um, in third place took his second podium in a row technically because he did well in the pre-season race in Austria. Panos in fourth position. Um, we had Hayden in fifth. Carl was in sit position on 10 points. Seven is Ryan Berry on eight. Jamie, the reserve, J. Luke, is in eighth on six points. Ninth is Tony uh, with five. Tenth is Risky on four. Eleventh is Newgarden on two. And then Yuri picked up the last point with Lee, Iceman, M. Ryan, uh, Ahmed, Beaker, and Goodlip, and Mike, and Bettinio yet to score. Obviously, we've got a few reserves. Anyway, so we do have... Also, another reserve in replace of one of the Alfa Romeos. I need to double check which Alfa Romeo is not here tonight. That is Hayden, who can't make it tonight. So, Bettino will be in his place. Luckily, he had more notice this time for that. So, luckily, a bit more packs for him. And the team's standings tonight. we got Williams on 38 points. In first place, McLaren in second on 27. 
Third is Alfa Romeo on 22. Fourth is Ferrari on 15. Fifth is Alpine on 13. Sixth is Mercedes with six points. Seventh is Aston Martin with four points. Red Bull is eighth with three points. And Alfa Tauri and Haas yet to score. And Haas, like real life, at the bottom of the pile. So, without further ado, let's get started with qualifying. And we might as well go on board with a hot lap with one of um, the contenders who did very well. I was trying to find someone on soft, actually. I wasn't... I was going to go on board with Risky, but he's on medium, so... I'm trying to find someone who is on soft compound attire. So let's go on board with Lee, actually, who um, scored... Um, was just missed out on the points last week. So we'll see then as we head towards the start, finish straight, then heading towards turn one. It's very satisfying if you get... It right heading towards turn one, clipping that right apex just a little bit as you head towards turn two. Floor the photo a little bit in preparation for three. This corner you can now take fully flat with relatively ease. On the way to turn four, make sure you cut as one to get as close as could be to the edge of the track. And now you're going to be moving slightly to the right as you head towards the exit of six and then aim to the left a little bit more here, too. Now, um. Not the exit of six, exit of five, sorry. You got, you, there was a kick of six and then into seven. And now this is the corner I was talking about, turn nine, where he looks like he's fully committed, actually, at this moment in time. Luckily, hopefully, people in front of him move out of the way. Luckily, Sam moves out of the way. I'm guessing Sam has, unfortunately, invalidated his lap time. And uh, as I wasn't um, showing the the onboard view unfortunately but now I am typical our stream did not get to a off to a very good start doesn't it but anyway Lee comes across the line now and he is going to be setting a 116.806 I will find someone else to go on board with a hot lap because you didn't see all of it so um I will don't you worry I will promise to go on board with someone so we got uh Kyle who just come across turn 10 now, unfortunately, the reprofile turn 10 is not on the F1 game. Don't know why Cody's have not done that, considering they're bringing three new tracks in into the F1 game, as Carl has unfortunately invalidated his lap time. Yuri's about to start his lap as well. Who else is about to come across the line? We've got Ahmed down in 18th position in the Mercedes, currently sitting all... That was almost an invalidation. How was that not an invalidation? I do not know. But anyway, Mercedes are currently sitting in sixth place in the standings. Right now, they're looking to score a little bit more as Ahmed is not happy with his lap. He dives it into the pit lane. Coutinho is going through turn 10. I usually catch people in the turn 10 as well. A few lot of people on the beam strongly suggest that it's going to be a dry start to the race then. So he heads towards the final few corners, which I absolutely hate on this game with a passion. I did it on my team. Absolute nightmare to get right due to the deadly curbs. So Vitinho is not last anymore. Currently in P2. And Sam comes across the line in second. And we got Panos, who is on pole with 1.15.7. Now, Flexi's lap time on the mediums is pretty good. And if he was on the softs, he probably would have got pole. But on this game... You can only have three softs and one medium. But I don't get why it shows the tyre allocation on this game. Because you can't really choose it. Cody, something to improve on for latest patches. Do not show tyre allocations. There we go. That solves all the world's problems. As here he comes across the line. And was that an invalidation? Or is he, is he about to start his lap? Hard to tell. But he is uh, starting a lap. He's, yeah, he's about to start a lap anyway. And he's binned it. So... There we go. Not doing very well capturing people's laps tonight as well. But, you know, we will get better as the season goes on. And just to point out, Michael Schumacher has the most wins of any driver around this Catalonia circuit with six. And he's in the Ferrari. So is that a sign for Panos at the moment in the number 25 car that he might do well and obviously replicate what Michael Schumacher has done over the years. There is a Netflix documentary coming out about Schumacher, which I am very much looking forward to. 
He's on his outlap though as well. And uh, who should, oh, I'm just trying to find out who I could follow a bit more as well. It's Iceman as well, um, heading towards turn four. I met a few of these guys from VSL um, with, in the Jacko car karting meetup over the weekend in Glasgow. It was a long trip, actually. All in total, was around, for me, it was around about a thousand miles, um, which was insane. But it was worth it just to meet everyone and. Literally all these guys were so nice and we went to Spoons after and the Lark, the Lark Hall circuit, if you haven't been, it's brilliant. It's such a high speed circuit and it's, oh, I, I just love the thrilling nature, the adrenaline. I, I, I just got to full speed straight away. So thanks to everyone who I met there at the, the venue. That was um, Iceman, one of them. I met Deck as well, which was Acorn. And I met Pete as well. Uh, I obviously, I saw some of these guys I met um, in the last kind of event we did at Fruxton, but it was just nice seeing him again and some people for the first time as well. So there we go. And uh, Iceman goes on top with a 115.347. So we could see 114s, but I think it's going to be a lot difficult than we once thought. Now, once Deck goes out on track, I've got um, some interesting facts to talk about Deck, because he's he said he wants me. Oh, as Goodlip has had an unfortunate incident in turn nine, probably carried too much fossil, probably wrong turn, I think. So that is his qualifying session done and dusted. But at least he's got a lap sorted, so he won't be starting near the back. But I'm sure with the track being grippier as the session goes on, I'm sure he would fall down the order. Kyle is about to start his outlap. Risky goes in and through the pit lane. Where is his... Uh, no, it's not his teammate, actually. I'm getting confused with the colours. But anyway, Ahmed is in last at the moment. Doesn't want to be last for much longer. As he comes across the line, and it is P13 on the mediums. I'm a bit shocked quite a lot of people on the mediums, but... To be honest, you mo most more than likely that people find it hard to do a two-stop when you start on soft, so that's why probably more people want to start on the mediums. Um, if it's a one-stop, they'll either be doing medium to hard or hard to medium. But if it's a two-stop, they're probably going to hope for an early safety car um, or even a late safety car, because otherwise they will have to pit more than once, which they then have to with these rules. The, the two-stop rule for the top three is now gone for this season. But it might be back this uh, next season. You never know. So the Alfa Romeo driver of Carl in 18th place at the moment. He is about to finish his next lap. Going towards turn six, 15 and 16 now. On 57% of ERS. DRS wide open. He comes to the line. P3 for him. So he's improved quite a lot here. And I think most people on their outlaps, maybe apart from Ahmed, he's probably going again. And Virginia has retired. And I think, oh, we just gone past him actually, but he's binned it probably in turn 12, most likely. Actually, no, not turn 12, in the middle of turn 10. So let's see if I can go, maybe the Afatari. Um, oh, no, his car has gone, so it's hard for me to tell anyway, so... But there we go. So Bettinho will be starting no higher than P7 on the grid. But some people may be going for the alternate strategy pole position. I've seen that in many leagues before where the, these people try the hard to medium and they get into full flow and make sure they get the win or even get close to a win. So we'll find out as well. Almost six minutes left to go on the clock as Yuri heads past turn eight and into turn nine now. I don't know how these guys take it flat out in turn nine. I can't do it. The amount of times I've tried to on this game, I ended up in the wall. So these guys, full commitment there. As Yuri is purple in sector two. Probably the game is lying to me once again, as it always is. But anyway, he's probably going to jump a lot higher than he is because he's one of two drivers to set no lap time as it stands another yellow flag that is Mercedes slowing down that's probably that's Kev yeah that is Kev who is back this week so 
Welcome back, Kev. But Yuri sorts his car into P6. And I think that's everybody that's done the flyers for now, as Mike has invalidated probably his in-lap. Maverick is going slower, so yep, he's on his in-lap too. The only one that's on a lap is Risky. Past turn nine. Oh, so close to that curb. That could have been an invalidation, but sometimes you slow down just enough. You will be able to get away with it as Risky has done. Again, Risky power point set to two. So he could jump in into the top ten. The Aston Martin driver. The Aston Martin team are looking to return the Aston Martin brand into full glory with wins this season. We could see a different winner here tonight. As Risky comes across the line. He may not be last anymore, but I did say he would go into the top ten. He is currently sitting in P5. Let us know where you're watching in the chat. Don't forget, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. I can't remember how many subscribers we are on at the moment. We're on 82 subscribers. Almost on 100. Come on, we could do it. So make sure you give us some love. Like this video as well if you haven't already. And turn notifications on so you know when to check out our streams. It is every Wednesday at 8 p.m. So I think a lot of people will be going on their outlaps now. We've got Kyle, we've got uh, Acorn, who's I think going into the pits, who's just finished his lap actually, 116.6. Now, Deck, also known as Acorn, has had a bet with Ryan Berry. And it is for Acorn to finish ahead of Ryan Berry by the end of the season. And if he does, I, I can't remember what he would say he would do if he does if he does beat him. And what would what would Ryan what would Ryan Berry do if he loses? I don't know. Or the other way around, if Deck loses. Can't remember. He talked about it in the karting that we did at the weekend. But all I heard was obviously Deck wants to beat Ryan Berry. So there we go. So But Akon will be making his way to the pit lane very, very shortly. He hasn't got long left to go into the pits, actually. So, uh, um, I, to be honest, I would hurry up if I were you. Um, who's about to start a lap then? We got the uh, Alpine or the Williams. Uh, nope, it's uh, the other Alpine of Ryan Berry who I think has just finished his lap because he's on one lap old mediums. So we've got the two, we've got Ahmed just started his lap through turn one. Very fast through there. He got that just right. So satisfying, like I said earlier on. So he did that nicely. What about Kev? I think that Kev will be his last lap because there's no way he's going to go into the pits in time. we also got the Williams of J. Luke on three lap old mediums. I don't get why they're on old mediums. That may suggest it could rain at the end of the race, so they may not want to use the medium compound of tyres. I don't know. I hope it's changeable conditions, because usually without changeable conditions, Spain usually sometimes gets quite boring on league racing. There's some league races which I found quite entertaining around this track, but there we go. So Iceman, our current pole sitter, 115.3. Is on his outlap at the moment, seeing if anyone could beat him. Ah, oh, Ahmed. Unfortunately, Ahmed has invalidated. Ah, oh, does he have time to go out again? He does. Luckily, it's on mediums, which is more durable than the soft, so he should be fine. And we have got, oh, we've got Kev, his teammate, who is invalidated too. Next, we got the Haas driver of Mike 65 MX come across the line. And we got an Alpine behind as well. But 117.270, slightly improved. But Panos, the Ferrari driver, currently slots his car one tenth quicker than Speed Iceman. And I wonder if he's going to go even better or if, or if he's backed off of his lap. And... Uh, 
Uh, I believe Flexi Solstice Car still in 10th position. We've got the Aston Martin of Risky. Yeah, Risky is about uh, just in what, 61. Can no pace on his outlap, so he has time set one more lap. And uh, it would probably help me if I had it on a tyre, not best. That's probably why everyone now is on the, the soft compound the tyres. That's probably why it's confused me. And oh, Kyle has uh, had a bit of a moment in a uh, very weird place to park it, my friend Kyle. But he's been to anyway. And the checker flag has dropped. Kyle uh, Maverick cannot improve. Can only slot his car in P19. Next, we've got Ahmed who can only manage 60 for his teammate in P6. Uh, what about Mike? I think Mike will be the next person to cross the line. He is unfortunately invalidated. What about Lee? And then we got the Alpine that's coming in to the bits. P6 for him. Sam comes across the line. P3. And then we've got, I think, a Williams of Jamie who's going into the pit lane. And next we've got Iceman who was on pole for most of the session. And he's looking to do better. We'll see. Only P2. Um, Pete can only manage fifth, but he improved ever so slightly. And we got Yuri, who has invalidated. New Garden has invalidated as well. And I think that is everybody, apart from Yuri, that's almost binned it in the pit lane. But there we go. So Panos will be starting this race in a pole position. Two different pole positions so far this season. Could Panos do what Flexi did last week and convert the pole to a race victory? Not done a lot last season, but Flexi has broken the curse, which was great to see. Let us go through your results. So your results are as follows. Hanos from P1. Iceman, P2. Flexi, P3. J. Luke, P4. Pete, P5. Kyle, P6. Lee, P7. Kev, P8. Ryan Berry, Knife, and Tony in P10. They will have to start on the soft compound of tyres. And we've got Risky, Yuri, Bettinio, M. Ryan, Goodlib, Acorn, which is Deck, Ahmed, Mike, Newgarden, and Maverick. Um, only two seconds adrift, so pretty good. Top 12 separated by just under a second. I think we should be in for a very close race today. So this gives me a great opportunity to talk about one thing that I should not forget on the stream. We have, VSL is partnered by a lovely sponsor called Rogue Energy. Brilliant, provides lots of energy drinks, as the name suggests. You could get their stuff on their website, as you can see in the bottom of the screen, rogueenergy.com. And you could use the code VSLF1 for 10% off. So yes, Rogue Energy is our sponsor we much appreciate your support, so thank you very much. Now I've got that out of the way, that sponsor out of the way. That is good, isn't it, that I've got that out of the way. Let's talk about tyre strategy. Now, the softs are only meant to last eight laps. Mediums, 15 laps, and the hards, 20 laps. And the Pirelli compounds that they've got for today are the C3s, the C2s, and the C1s. And the delta times, quite not that significant compared to some other tracks on the calendar. It's between the softs and the mediums, five temps. And between the softs and the hards, 1.107 seconds. So mean and hards about five temps. So this could be an interesting mode on what tyres they want to think about for their second stint. Massive shout out to po Polky, who is in the chat. Let us know your predictions in chat on who you think should win 
this race. Who do you think is going to be getting on the podium? And I have to say, we're going to be in for a crack. I'm sure Matt is uh, Web Matt is going to regret missing the race today. So hopefully the drivers can be on their A game today. So Flexi leading the championship. Will he keep the championship lead after tonight? And just to point out, no stewards report last week, which was good news. Well, good news for me because I'm one of the stewards, so less work for me to do this week. So very happy about that. And I believe everybody has followed the two-minute rule. Let me just check the Twitter chat. I think they have. Risky hasn't said readying up. I don't know. I haven't counted. I don't know. I will, I will need to check with Risky on that one because he is a lobby host. Has it been two minutes? I should have had a stopwatch, but I never do. I never do. So, are you ready for some VSL action? We are about to go in into the formation lap as someone has locked their tyres going on the start finish straight. You won't be able to see that at the moment, but there we go. So, let me get the stream up with your the tired choices. So we've got everyone in the top ten on the sauce. Everyone apart from Deck in P16 is on the mediums outside the top ten. So I don't think Acon is thinking that there's going to be a safety car, which is I think a very brave call, I should say. But he probably wants to have a bit of cautious start. And then towards the end, he is absolutely going to fly. And maybe he could try and maybe pit a bit later. Go Maybe go on to softs if, he, if he's lucky. He could be very brave doing that as well. But everyone else on the mediums, no brainer really. So... So we are about to get underway for VSL Season 7, round number two. I hope we see a similar amount of action today as we did last week in Bahrain. If you haven't watched last week's race, make sure you check it out on the VSL channel at VSL. Uh, well, you're on the channel now, so make sure you just check the channel before. You can also follow us on Twitter as well at VSL underscore F1. The standings get posted there and lots of other important news. So make sure you follow them. That'll be brilliant. So everyone is making their way onto their grid slots. And lovely that VSL has just retweeted me. Well, 26 minutes ago, but I will like that tweet. There we go. Cheeky plug there. And by the way, you can follow me on my socials as well. At JessGames95 on Twitter and Instagram. Very, very simple. And I also have a Twitch as well. At JessGames95. I, 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 hate, I hate having different names. Apart from PlayStation. Because that name was taken on PlayStation. But anyway. The five red lights are coming on your screen. Panos on the right. Iceman on the left. And we are underway. Panos has got a great start over Iceman today. As they head towards the start of finish range towards turn one. But Flexi has got a very good start. Down the inside of Iceman into turn one. Can Iceman hold it off? No, he can't. Let's see if everybody's going to have a cleaner turn one. A few people almost going off there. But I think everyone has kept it clean. Lee's trying to go around the outside of Patino into turn three. Couldn't quite do it. We are seeing some brave moves. Kyle going around the right hand, the outside of J. Luke, the hand towards turn five and six, keeping it steady, lads. And Pete could respond any minute. Right in the middle of this, heading towards turn seven. Carl stays in fourth. Jamie in fifth. Pete in sixth. Kev could respond to that on seventh. I've got to say, oh, yellow flag. That is... Uh, Tony and M. Ryan has had a bit of a coming together. So they're down in 19th and 20th. 
so they must have got damage somewhere. Don't forget there is a new damage model, but I have to say, fair play to Risky. He started on the mediums, he's up into 8th position already. Continuing up to 9th, the leaves dropped down a few places. The soft runners, they're just not the ones from, I think, a few places downwards, not having a good time at all. Meanwhile, Iceman looking to get back P3 from Carl then. And if DRS is not enabled yet, we're not on lap 2, Cody, what you're on about. I don't know why Cody does this, to be honest, but he does. Oh, Iceman almost having a bit of a tank slapper. Yellow flag. Not quite sure what that's for. Oh, we got a VSC. We got a VSC. Now, sometimes I've seen on this game that it has been changed to a safety car sometimes. Not all the time. But it does happen. I think I, I had it happen on my team. Where he's done that. And Maverick has got a drive-through penalty for speeding under VSC. That is not good for the Apatari driver. Now, Needs has to go and serve it within three laps. Otherwise, he will be disqualified. So, if I were him, I would get the, the drive-through penalty pretty much served pronto if I was him. So hopefully the timing tower will sort itself out very soon. Because otherwise I would probably get very annoyed with myself. As uh, Lee. Oh, what's happened to Lee? Lee has spun it in... I can't remember what turn it is. And DRS is now unable. Turn 12. Now, I, I usually spin it quite a lot around that corner around Spain. So... I don't blame him, to be honest, but DRS is now activated. Here comes Flexi. In the turn one, and not close enough, unfortunately, but Iceman's very close towards J. Luke. J. Luke was almost challenging Iceman for fourth, but Iceman keeps fourth from him. Unfortunately, New Garden has left the session. That is a bit worrying, hopefully. He can rejoin very, very soon. So otherwise, he's going to be in some trouble here. And obviously, the deltas are mixed up for me at the moment. So it's hard for me to trap. But Risky in the Aston Martin. Biggest gainer so far. Out of the medium runners. We also got Midas gained seven. Acorns gained four. Ahmed's gained four. New Garden's gained five. Maverick's gained three. Biggest loser has got to be Tony that's dropped 10 and yellow flag was that Akon I don't know no it wasn't Akon it was I'm trying to find it probably Maverick again oh Maverick's just not having a good day is he he's down in 17th and he's taking a weird line unfortunate we got a move happening Iceman and Jamie once again could Jamie get the move this time yes he does no challenge there. Jamie is up into fourth place. Should I... Should I, I think Jamie should become full-time, you know. He's doing amazing. Oh, Iceman almost made a mistake there. Almost was on the gravel, sadly. But he recovered. He has dropped down one place. But I don't think he is too phased about him dropping one place at the moment so all is well for him in the McLaren world and don't forget the top 12 score points in a VSL and don't forget whoever gets the fastest lap out of all 20 drivers will get two extra points so Flexi last week got maximum points so that was good for him more yellow flags that's Iceman I had a feeling he would struggle, I think, because he was losing a little bit and sliding in certain corners. So not really that surprised. So he's waiting for everybody else to go through. And he's dropped down into 15th place. Pete is in the pits. Is he going for the undercut? Or has he got damage? Undercut. Mediums. I'm probably thinking, with Pete going on to the mediums now, that strongly suggests that it's going to rain. 
Because why would he go on mediums? Why would he go on mediums otherwise? Because the mediums, according to my maths, only last 15 laps. Well, we've got more than 15 laps to go at this Grand Prix, so... Pete... We'd probably figure two stop is faster, or there might be rain coming. I have not checked any of the chats about the weather. And I hope no one in the chat spoils it. But I, I haven't checked any Twitter chat, so I don't have a clue about what the weather's going to be. M1 could close in on Tony into turn four. And I'm not surprised that a lot of drivers are making mistakes around this track. Because, obviously, it's quite a hard track on this game. Iceman, today has gone from bad to worse. He has got a free second time healthy. I think Yuri had a three second time penalty as well as Jamie responded to the likes of oh we got a move sorry to interrupt we've got a move for Flexi and Panos for the race lead Flexi currently sitting in P2 but he could get first beautiful stuff for the McLaren into turn 4 and now through 5 Brilliant for him in the lead. Carl is also in this train. But I was going to say, Jamie wanted to respond to Pete. He's quite close actually to Pete. 1.8 seconds. So will any of the top three make their way in into the pits? Panos could go for another look once again, maybe. Oh, oh my goodness. This is probably been very, very tight indeed. And let's see. Oh, God. Carl almost in the back of Flexi. Bettinio has had a bit of a spin. I'm almost certain he's got more than front wing damage there. Probably more terminal damage than we would have liked. So, as New Garden has luckily joined. So, Kev's in the pits. Carl's in the pits. Flexi is in the pits too. So, yes, they're all going on to mediums as well. So, yep. It's not just one person doing it. Pretty much everyone is doing it. So, uh, yeah, I think it's going to rain. I think it's going to rain. If it doesn't rain, then why are they on the medium? So, yes, I think it is. So, probably 99% chance, most likely. But you never know. Cody's couldn't say to the, dri to the drivers, oh, there's going to be rain when they check their weather forecast in the qualifying session. But I think the lobby settings are set to approximate, so they could say there's rain, but it turns out there may not be rain. You never know. That's what I like about the weather system on this game, as yellow flag set to free. We've got an Alpha Tauri that is binned it going into the pit lane. That is Maverick. Not... I won't be surprised if he goes in and retires his car from the race. I think he's going to do that anyway. Nope, he's still going. Fair play to him. He's not giving up when the going gets tough, which is brilliant. I only give up, obviously, if either someone crashes me out or if I bin it into a wall. So, but if I still have front wing damage and I can still continue, I still continue. Simple as. End of story. So, hope you're enjoying this amazing stream so far. I have definitely have at this moment in time. So make sure you click the subscribe button as we've got our Maverick being lapped by the leaders who are having a insane battle at the moment between Flexi, Carl and Jamie. All close together now. So Flexi at the moment with Panos not pitting is a net P1 on the racetrack with Carl a net P2. Panos is going to lose so much time if he does not pit now, so. As we do have a yellow flag, that is Ahmed, who's binned it in turn 9 and 10 then, so. And Maverick just moves out of the way. And we've got Kyle who is staying a bit further back because 
dirty air on this game is an absolute nightmare, so he doesn't want to get too close because otherwise spins and more spins could happen here in Catalonia, so which you don't want to do. But here comes Flexi trying to go for the move on Yuri. Carl May, let's do the same thing. This could be free abreast. Keep it clean, lads. Luckily, Yuri backs off because he knows that it's not his battle. But let's see who's going to get the better run in towards turn two. Kyle looks like he's going to... Oh, not much space. Who is going to have the move into turn four? I think it could be Carl around the outside. But Flexi's not giving up this one into turn five. But he has to back out. Carl is your net race leader. Jamie also gets past Yuri. And Yuri backs out, out of that as well. So, oh no. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Oh God. Oh God. What's that? What the hell? Uh, um, game? Hello? Why are you showing stutters? Apology to be suffer epilepsy, but I was not expect. Oh my god, this are uh, Carl and Flexi keep jumping everywhere. Oh my god, oh, I'm definitely reporting that to Cody's. That's a f uh, I've never seen this glitch before, so I can't go on board with Carl and Flexi tonight. Lovely. So otherwise, you're gonna get a blue halo type of effect, but that was weird. Just, oh, just look at the... I don't, I don't think I should reload because it's only two cars, right? But, yeah, I think it's Kyle more than anything. Let's see, if I go on board with... Yeah, if I go on board with Flexi, it's fine. It's just going on board with Kyle, I just can't. Um, apparently Kyle is up in heaven. Okay, there we go. So, I thought, yeah, yeah, unfortunately I can't go on board with Kyle now. But Kyle is still leading from Flexi. Um, so there we go. Um, your net race lead. Panos still staying out. He is definitely going older than the sell by date on these tyres because I forget the softs can last nine laps. Oh, Flexi with a time penalty. Three seconds. That could hinder his race a little bit. As Maverick is out of the session, Panos um, is all safety car. That was brilliant timing for Panos. And uh, if you got your bingo cards ready, that's one of them right there. Because I did say to Matt Ryan that there was going to be a safety car, and I was right. So there we go. So, uh, bonus point for me, because I suggested the bingo cards that you're probably going to get a bingo card in. But there we go. I think one thing I should say to him for next week's bingo is glitches. As in, gl random glitches like that. Oh, what is, what is Kyle doing? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I wonder if any of the drivers are watching the stream in between safety cards. They're, oh, that, that is just weird. You can't go on board with Kyle at all. But anyway, the stretch is over. Kev comes in. Ryan Berry comes in. They're on the hard. I don't know if that's going to rain now, then. I don't know. It throws the strategy completely out the window. Ahmed is saying... Oh, Ahmed is on the softs. Is he... Is Ahmed meant to be on the soft tyres? Um... Okay, then. That is weird. And so let's see who is yet to make a stop. Only Deck hasn't made a stop yet. Because Risky has come in for a change of his tyres. So he goes on to the mediums then. I think for him, for, for Deck anyway, he, he saw no point. But we'll see if that strategy pays off. Maybe he might predict for a late safety car. But the safety car... We'll be meeting up with Deck in the middle of turn... Well, towards turn three. And everyone is now meant to keep up to a delta. Oh, I'm, I'm already getting spasms with Kyle. Oh, ghosted. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, game. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? 
That definitely did caught me off guard, but there we go. As uh, Ryan Berry has... Oh. Ryan Berry almost overtook Cav. I don't think you're meant to do that on the safety car. Or was it an illegal overtake beforehand? But we'll see. By the way, that glitch, I'm definitely clipping it. I'm definitely clipping it. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put it on Twitter because what the hell. I wonder if anyone else has seen this glitch before. I doubt it. It may just be a PS5 thing. Next gen console thing. Or it may just be Carl himself. If it was Carl, we would probably be in the chat absolutely raging. Actually... Wait, what's going on with the trap map? So according to the trap map, he is, he's flashing and in the sky. Right, hold on. And car, wait, wait, where? Carl is desynced on my screen. Yeah, Carl is in the, oh. So Carl keeps going from the trap to the sky. Um, and I think, Oh, God, more people are now getting spasms now. Oh, my God. This is not good. It's not good. How am I supposed to commentate on this when there's glitches on the game? It's absolutely ridiculous. Ah, Absolutely ridiculous, man. But thank you so much for watching the stream. So I, I'm probably... If it happens next week in Monaco, I'm going to be so annoyed. Luckily, there's no such problems for Flexi at the moment. But let's hope he... It's not... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it... it yeah, there's spasms for Risky and Panos as well. It's... It's like the frame drops. It's going crazy. Oh, my goodness. But anyway. Now, looking at the strats, with a mixture of people on mediums and hards, this could throw a strategy on a, on a loop, to be honest. Who has played it right? Risky has Risky and Panos has timed it perfectly. Risky's jumped Panos. Risky has jumped Panos. So, Risky is your net race leader. I don't think he's won a race yet. I'm not going to jinx him because I'm a bit wide. I may commentate his curse someone. So, but yeah, Risky's doing well in second. And we got the two McLaren boys, Fip and Sip. That could work one as in a constructor. Is the safety car in? Or is it going another lap? It is going another lap because we're still waiting for Iceman to catch up to the safety car. And then once Iceman catches up to the safety car, then we could go green flag racing very, very shortly. And we're pretty much almost halfway into this race and did someone retire from the race or did someone leave i don't know and am has got a drive through that you need to serve after the safety car you can't serve it during the safety car but you can serve stop and go penalties So, is this, oh, we're, not even, we're not even on turn 9 and 10 yet. Why am I saying safety car will be in this lap? But there we go. So. Let me get some facts, actually, about this track whilst the safety car is still out. There's been actually a second Spanish round in F1 in Valencia. European Grand Prix was held for five years between 2008 and 2012. Absolutely love Valencia. I would love that to be back on the F1 calendar. And it was due to alternate with Circuit de Barcelona Catalonia as the host of the Spanish Grand Prix from 2013 onward. 
but this failed to materialize as the safety car is in this lap. So, deck is your de facto safety car. And we got the ghost Kyle right in the middle of this, which could go horribly wrong if people are seeing the ghost as well. But, Deck can now accelerate whenever he wants. Could he maybe wait a little bit? Or is he going to choose to accelerate now? He chooses to accelerate now and Risky doing a brilliant job now heading towards turn one. And he could overtake now. So we are green flag racing. Risky to the left, Deck to the right then. Who's going to get the edge here out of these two? Almost off the track, but Risky played it perfectly. Panos almost going to try and get a uh, deck, which means deck's tyres are absolutely cooked right now. So, deck. Oh, where's deck now? There he is. Deck is down into third place, and there is the ghosted, the weird. You can hardly see Kyle. Uh, but let me see if I go. Uh, no, if I don't, it doesn't fix it if it goes through race director. Okay, that's weird. Coutinho obviously gaining quite a few positions because obviously he was on the softs. And I do, I do expect for him to pit one more time. As I do believe... No, oh, no, I'm not going to go on board with Kyle again. I don't know why. But anyway, Flexi does get past Kyle or does he not? Yellow flag. Lee. Lee has binned it in turn 12. So Lee has got to probably go into the pits or does he have damage? No, nope, he doesn't have any visible damage that I could see. So that's all good. That's great to see right now. As Mike picked himself a free second penalty, which could change the outcome of this race. Risky is now stretching the lead to Panos by 1.3 seconds. No sign of the weather changing, so... That is all well and good. Uh, oh, speaking of Panos, he got a free second time penalty, so... Penalty update. Panos on free. Flex is on free. Mike's on free. Yuri's on free. Ryan Berry's on free. New Garden's on free. Iceman's on free. Oh, Yuri's out the race. Yuri's out the race. And we have another safety car. So where did Yuri bin it then? Is it turn, middle of turn 10? Let's go on board with Ahmed. I, I, I want to see, actually, where he binned it. Oh, Ahmed, no. Ahmed got another drive through. Ahmed, you do not speed on the safety car. When will you ever learn? But I think, obviously, Yuri's car is gone, so we can't go on board with him. But, yeah, that must be the nasty shunt. So, well, the ones on the soft tyres, which is Bettinio, go to the pits. He does. Pete is in as well. And I'm almost certain Pete's tyres will make it until the end of the race because... Oh, and uh, there's a car that almost went backwards into the pit lane. I think I figure this is turning into the glitch Grand Prix the way this is going at the moment. But there we go. It happened. It happened. But this may have forced a lot of people to be thinking right i'm on the right strategy carl has pitted so has akon so akon did that brilliantly because he has tires that will also get to the end of the grand prix So I want to see which strategy works because personally, I thought it was going to rain with people going to the memes earlier on. 
But now with some people on the hards, I just doubt that's going to happen right now. I think it's going to be a situation where there, it's got to be tire management now. Tire management is absolutely key. Could we see a debut win? Just like past Marvinado back in 2012, but being his only win in F1, it also marks the only time a Brazilian driver started from the front of the grid. Another interesting fact, Schumacher's first win for Ferrari came here in 1996 as Kev has left the session and he's currently sitting in fifth place. So, so he's ghosted, but luckily, hopefully, he should be back, fingers crossed, before the safety car ends. But it's not going to help the people around because obviously the AI doing safety car is slow as anything. So, yes, not what they want at all. As, uh, oh, Mike's got a penalty with severe collision with Pete. So has Vitinho. Um, Pete, I think, has got a five second as well. Usually, if I have a five second penalty to serve and it's during safety car period, I sometimes thought it would be the best opportunity for me to box now because if you're in last anyway, like Pete is, you have nothing really to lose. And it's not going to be that long before you catch up to the safety car. So get that served and then you'll be completely penalty free. I think same with Mike and Bettinho, but, oh, for goodness sake. Commentator's curse strikes again. I thought it was going to be in for another lap, but nobody's in this lap. Out for another lap. But anyway, Risky is probably in huge pressure. He's got Panos and Flexi behind him, who I know are really fast drivers. But I, I can't remember. When was the last time Flexi's won something? But anyway, not going to say anything more. Risky has decided to back the field up a little bit more than what we saw with Deck. Panos, oh no. Panos, five second penalty, severe collision with Flexi. But that doesn't matter with Risky though. He has controlled this perfectly. So let's see if we can see some moves into turn one. Tony is not messing about, is he? On the right hand side into turn one. Luckily he didn't do a Roman Grosjean, but that was perfect for him. Iceman trying to gain ground and have a comeback. And he's up in into eighth position. M Ryan, where has he come from? His pace has been amazing. M Ryan is up into ninth. And Panos has dropped down into fourth. He is struggling, so I wonder if he's had any damage from the safety car collision which he probably has. But Panos is really good in terms of lap times at the moment. Best lap time so far. 118.3 set by Iceman. Panos 118.5. J-Luke 118.5 as well. So Jamie and Panos matching each other in terms of pace. And that is brilliant to see from both of these drivers. Risky starting to break away from Flexi. He was probably relieved that the safety car has come, which means he could stretch those means for a little bit. And if there is a safety car, maybe he could go on to Sauce. We had two safety cars already. And Kev has joined. As New Guard, nothing is back in the session as well. Goodlip is trying to get past Kyle. Uh, no. Um, you can barely see him. He's ghosted, but anyway... M. Ryan is trying to get past Carl Goodlip as doing the right thing in staying back just a little bit because you do not want to get any in incidents. Fair play to him for having a comeback. Keeper Young, we could be on for some good points. But we will see. Ryan Bailey at the moment, as it stands, is beating Akon. So, Deck is probably regretting that he's made that bet right now on lap 20 of 33. And has uh, M. Ryan got the move. He, he used a lot of ERS, is M. Ryan. And he can't use his overtake either because the red means that all of his ERS deployment has been used. And that is not the situation 
to be in when you go around about 13 laps to go this race. So I think M Ryan needs to pick up the pace a bit. Oh, someone spun. But it's not a good lip. It's Pete, I think. Has Pete spun? Yeah, Pete has spun. Turn 12. And DRS is now enabled then. Usually after two uh, laps of green flag racing after the safety car. That is when the DRS could be used to the full effect. So Sam, aka Flexi, is still within DRS range of our race leaders. So it is not over for Sam to get his second race victory in a row. Look on Panos on j -Loop. Panos' traction right now is fantastic. Going through seven and now going into eight and nine. I think Panos is going to get it done. But we'll have to wait and see. The Mercedes engine may come into effect here. No, Panos just stays back for now. So your order as it stands. Risky leading. Flexi second. J. Luke third. Panos fourth. Iceman fifth. Ryan Berry in sixth. Carl in seventh. Tony eighth. M. Ryan ninth. And Gulib in tenth. New Garden still in the points. And New Garden's another driver that keeps spazzing out as well, which is not ideal. But anyway, Panos does get past J. Luke. So Panos is up into third place. So I wonder if Panos' tyres is in much better nick than J. Luke's tyres are for now. Another yellow flag. That is a hash driver. That is Mike. That is Mike that's binned it. Hold on a second. So he's been to turn two, exit two by the looks of things. So, and we got another safety car. No one's binned it. No one's binned it, we got a safety car. Maybe there was just like debris or something. And Kev's got a five second penalty. We are starting to see more collisions on the safety car. Kev's got to drive through. The, the Mercedes are not doing good with safety cars, are they? Speeding on the safety cars. I think there will be some sure inquiries under safety car conditions, I'm almost certain. I was not expecting this amount of safety cars. I mean, we have one VSC and this is the third safety car. So Risky Cove's in. No brainer because he knows his tyres could get to the end. Flexi is in. Panos is in. Jamie stays out. Well, I think I'm almost certain Jamie will stay out because those tyres could get to the end. Um, good lip stays out. Deck, is he going in? Deck stays out. So, this again changed the strategy up even more. I like unpredictable strategy. This is brilliant. And we do not know who's going to win. We literally do not know. So now Jamie is your race leader. But in terms of tyres, our Iceman's looking good. And everyone has been everywhere towards the field. It kind of reminds me of spring qualifying, which is going to be happening in Monza this weekend, which I'm excited for. I almost completely forgot spring qualifying was on this weekend again, until someone else reminded me. Can't believe it's been almost two, three months since the first one in Silverstone. So there we go. So will everybody else opt to pit? Ahmed is in, so is Pete. So we'll, so Pete's going on old mediums and Ahmed is going on fresh mediums. So there we go. Again, all of those should comfortably make their way until the end. But... We've had, I think we had a third different safety car leader, I believe, in this race as well. So, and people treat safety car restarts in a variety of different ways. 
I never had an ex I never had experience in leading on the safety car, so I never, I never, I never have a clue what happened. So is Lee coming in? Yes, Lee's coming in on the soft and he is serving his five second. Pete has served his five second as well. So I believe that's why he's come in because of that. Eleven laps to go of this Spanish Grand Prix. Who do you think is going to be coming out on top then? Do you think it's going to be J-Luke, our reserve driver? Or is it going to be anybody else? You'll find out. You'll find out in 11 laps time. So... Watch this space, ladies and gentlemen, because we could be in for a crazy ride. And if it can happen in Formula One, and it usually does, and the safety car is in. So that didn't take too long for everybody to bunch up together. So now Jamie is the de facto safety car and... Let's see how he approaches this safety car restart. So heading towards the final corner. He comes. And he has blasted that restart over Iceman. But Iceman trying to get into J. Luke's slipstream. Because I'm sure Jamie was trying to break the toe there. Ryan Berry doing well in third. Carl in fourth. Good lib. Managed to hold up to fifth. But risky. Managed to get the move on Moutinho up into seventh place. Nice control there from him. And he could get Acorn very soon. Don't forget Risky on Sauce, which are about five tenths quicker than the mediums. Flexi gets past Moutinho again. Another driver on those soft tyres. Which, with a push, could get to the end. But they're going to lose optimum pace, I think, around about lap 30, lap 31. So... I think that could be either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on where, where you look at it. You will be fast now, but if you push too much too early, your tyres will not be quick towards the end. And the ones that are on the more durable tyres, such as the mediums or the hards, would take the most effect and most advantage to it. So, Vitinho could still be in this. Do not watch out, watch, watch out for Vitinho. But we've got quite a few people on penalty, so quite a few people could jump up out of all of this. So we've got Iceman on J. Luke again. Not quite close enough. We've got Akon on the back of Goodlib. So the train is starting to grow and grow. It's not going to be that long before DRS is enabled once again. Another yellow flag. That is... Come on, tell me what the yellow flag is. Oh, it's Vitinho. It is Vitinho that's binned it. And I wonder if he's got floor or rear wing damage because he's losing so much time at the moment. But the driver that's not losing that much time is J. Luke. But I'm sure that everybody on fresher tyres and much softer tyres is going to chase him very soon. So... If he defends this and keep this victory, then this will be really good. He's one of a few drivers on this grid to not get a penalty. Carl has got no penalties as well. Acorn on good lip, no penalties. Patini is out of the race. Can we have a... Will there be another... Oh, my God. Another safety car. This is the fifth one. Actually, we have four safety cars and one BSC. 
that, 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 that was the same amount that we got in Jack of Kia yesterday. I wasn't racing, but I watched about the race back this morning. But I did. I only said on the bigger car we would only get one safety car. Well, I, I said we get. I, uh, to, well, to be fair, I did say we would get a safety car. I didn't say how many safety cars we would get. Um, actually, let's check the bingo card. Actually, whilst we're at it, as Fatinio is leaving in disgust. Um, so, ba 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 ba. So we've had no rain. So. And obviously we had a safety car. And I think we've got a lot more safe a lot more squares, I think, today. But there we go. I think I'm almost certain. Did Kev speed under Did Kev speed under VSC? Safety car? He did. He did speed under safety car. Ooh, 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 interesting. Intriguing to say the least, as is anyone gonna jump into the go on to softs? Jamie does not go on softs, neither does Iceman, neither does the god Kyle, because obviously you can barely see him. Ryan barely stays out. I think most of these guys will want trap position. Acorn stays out as well. Are you sure there's a safety car? Because they're going full throttle. Oh, no, they're slowing down now. Okay, all good, all good. Um, I'm just seeing if anyone else is boxing. Ahmed is boxing. And he's on softs. Well, he's got nothing to lose, because don't forget, there is still the fastest lap point given to anyone who is in the race at any of the top 17 because if you're if you DNF you do not qualify for two fastest lap points because you obviously have to finish the race so has any of your predictions changed since this, I think quite a lot of my predictions have changed quite significantly. I think this race has been a little bit more crazier than Bahrain. So I think we could see... I think we could see some more steward reports. I'm almost certain that we will. So, I'm... Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm a bit scared on that front. But anyway, we will cross that bridge once we get to it. And I think the safety car will be in now I was not expecting it to be in this quick quickly but because we don't have long to go until the end of this race really has to come in soon so Jamie is on the power nice and early and for the final time we go green flag racing Jamie gets underway well Iceman has been caught napping so Kyle could get B3 here but it's hard to bat see the battle from Kyle because otherwise I'm gonna get spasms so I'll just go on board with Iceman, and I think Iceman has Kyle covered off a little bit there as well, which is great to see. We've got Risky as well, who could get past Flexi. Past turn four now, heading towards turn five. Flexi almost trying to get past Deck then as well, but couldn't quite do it on this occasion. And Ryan Barry almost trying to get past Kyle there. We could see it being treated like a sprint race, but a lot cleaner. So this could be very, very intense. And with people on different strategies, some people on softs, some people on memes, some people on hearts, all three different tire compounds are being used at this moment. So... Who knows what could happen? There could be some more crashes, but there are no more safety cars. So if you crash, that's it. You won't be able to have a safety car to save you from this race. So, lap 30 of 33. Four laps to go until the end of this race. Jamie leads by three tenths of a second to Iceman. 
Carl is sitting in third position. Ryan Berry in fourth. Goodlib in fifth. Akon in sixth. And we got Pete who's trying to make his way past Mike. And Manos nicely does it, does Pete. But Mike says, you know what? Anything I could do, you could do, I could do better. And he's trying to do a send on Pete, but couldn't quite do it. Oh. So Flexi's dropped down to seven, or is it the timings being very annoying? Nope, it's the timings being very annoying as Goodlib has got another three second time penalty. As you can see, Risky. Oh my god. I don't think it was with DRS as well, Risky. He almost tried to get past Flexi there. It was a bit of a shame it wasn't that committed, but that would have been so good. But he doesn't want to be held up by some of the mean runners for that long because otherwise his higher temperatures are not going to be good at all. Yellow flag. Oh my god, there's more yellow flags. That is Matt Ryan, who's been. Uh, actually, no, it was not Matt Ryan. Well, it might have been, but I wasn't paying attention. So, three more laps to go now. I don't know how I would cope if I was in a situation on older tyres and trying to defend off of the likes of P2. That would just be very, very tricky. And I think the closest battle we could see is between Lee and Mike. Don't forget, penalties will come into effect. I'm not going to show the penalties now up on my screen because it will ruin it for everybody. And the threat of rain, which I thought was going to happen unfortunately is not going to happen so um boy was i wrong so iceman three second time penalty so kyle could be up into second pete uh where could pete be i don't know where pete could be he could be on the podium he could be fourth he could be fifth i don't know I can't do maths, but we're just Pete keeping it clean. Pete could be on, but still be on for some good points, even though he's had those spins. So fair play to, play to Pete right now. He doesn't usually keep it clean with no penalty, so it, this may be a first for him. Meanwhile, Deck gets past Ryan. And he just about gets him, but Flexi's going to get him as well into turn two and three. There he duck goes. But Ryan Berry is not going to give up without a fight here at this moment in time. As we're on the penultimate lap of this race. Again, we hope you've been enjoying the race so far. Sorry about the annoying glitches that we have witnessed so far in this race. I, To be honest, I can't really do anything much to prevent that, really. It was just... just uh, very frustrating, but oh, I did Flexi hit Acorn? I don't know, it was hard to tell, but anyway final lap of this race Iceman's lead Iceman took the lead, what happened to Jamie? I think Jamie's tyres has overcooked it, and Carl overtook Jamie as well so I did miss that, I do apologise, Risky's got time penalty as well if Kyle and Jay Luke can just hold on, they'll get P1 and P2 here. R Risky and Akon. Flexi and Akon, sorry. Making moves there as well. And, uh, oh, Pete and Panels having a battle there as well. I don't think it will matter, though, due to penalties. This, this, this order... It's going to change ever so slightly quite a lot here. And Jamie he could get past Carly. Oh, what's... Oh, it, Carl's car is still in Narnia, which is very weird. It's hard to tell, to be honest. But it's, it, it looks like Iceman is um, in the distance at the moment. So if Iceman only has three seconds, then Iceman should be fine. But Jay, Lee, Jay, Mo, Jay Luke, sorry... It's, look, I think, a lot more control than in towards the final corner. But let's go on board with Iceman. Your race leader on track. But it is going to be Kyle that will take the win. I can't go on board with Kyle because otherwise it looks weird. 
So Carl takes the win. Jamie in second. Penalties will go into fruition, so I don't know. So Pete's going to jump up massively. I did say around about fifth place, and he did get fifth place. So there we go. So Carl wins from Jamie, from Iceman, Acorn, Pete, Ryan Berry, Tony, Risky, and then it'll just be good live across the line. And 16th. Four safety cars. I'm still quite speechless that we had four safety cars, but it happened. And who's going to get drive of the day in game? Deck. He started quite low down, to be honest. He almost... Has he got another podium? Wait a minute. Yes, he's got another podium. I don't think he was expecting that after what happened and the issues he was facing. But he did that very well. Brilliant stuff. But it was a shame I couldn't follow Carl with some of the battles towards the end because... Stupid glitches. But again, I, I am going to clip it because I don't think the drivers probably have a clue of what I'm talking about if they're watching this back. So, let's go through your results. We've got Kyle from Jamie from Iceman, Akon, Pete, Ryan Berry, Tony, Risky, Flexi, Mike, Panos and Ahmed are your top 12 and point scorers. Iceman gets an extra two points for securing the fastest lap. And then we've got Lee, Matt Ryan, New Garden, Good Lib, and Kev being your finishers. And then Vitinho, Yuri and Maverick being your retirements. So that has been the Spanish Grand Prix for VSL Season 7. And before we head off, just a quick plug for our sponsor. VSL are proudly sponsored by Rogue Energy. You can go onto their website, rogueenergy.com. And you can use the code VSLF1 for 10% off. So check it out. Much appreciated. And uh, you will get a lovely discount because of it. So without further ado, we are going to be heading off. Our next track this week is the one that the drivers have been dreading. Well, most drivers have been dreading anyway. Some drivers absolutely love it. It's Monaco. I'm racing around Monaco the day before so I'll have a slight idea about what happened if I survive on Tuesday of course but I'm sure that the drivers pretty much all the drivers in, in VSL are a lot faster than me so they'll probably handle um, Monaco a lot better than me so thank you for watching we will see you next week same time same place for the Monaco Grand Prix. I've been Jess Ball. Hopefully Red Matt will be joining me next week. And hope he's had a good time out. But yeah. Have a good evening. And we'll see you soon. Goodbye.